you also just go with the flow, no matter what trend or what thing is happening. But how amazing is this racing jacket? Episode 7, I'm your host, Beth Jones from B. Jones Style, and I'm taking you inside the thrift store. We are treating this like it's the Vogue closet. We're talking trends, everything that's happening in fashion, and instead of going out and buying new, we're going to go in and thrift it. In today's episode, we are focusing on what happened during Fashion Month. From New York Fashion Week all the way to Paris Fashion Week, some of the trends that we saw happening on the runways, but also what was happening in street style. So let's go inside and see what we can find. Store, I always love to add some inspiration before I go in and we are focusing on fashion month, the trends that we saw on some of the runways that we can apply now and also in fall 2024, but also what we saw in the street style. A styling idea that popped up on the runways that I love and personally have worked into my daily dressing is the idea of double belts. This is so simple and really is so easy to grab some amazing belts in a thrift store and make this trend happen for yourself. I didn't find perfect options, but I did find a few just to show you the idea of what we saw on the runways. So I found two belts in the same styling family. They're both black belts with grommet details Detail, which always makes me think of Carrie Bradshaw and her studded belt. So similar idea and I love the idea of taking two in the same category but then going with different widths and then you can layer them in really interesting ways. So we did this skinnier version up high on the waist and then we went with a bigger version lower and then even how you adjust the buckles and where they hang can be such a fun way to do the styling. You could also put them more together crisscross them. You can add them over blazers. You can do it on your pants. You could do it on a skirt. It's really just so much fun to play with the idea of multiple belts. You could go more than double and go triple or quadruple. I don't know how to say for the fifth version, but you could really just stack belts. And I think it's such a fun way to add some spice to the outfit. In terms of styling, something that seems to be everywhere in street style right now is taking a crew neck sweater or sweatshirt which this is an amazing option this is a vintage italian made wool sweater and i love the colors and the stripes and using it as an accessory to your outfit so what we're seeing a lot of right now is kind of worn over the shoulders draped like that you could also tie it the brooklyn folk are wearing it like this and tying it like that. But I'm going to share another alternative that is my favorite way to wear a sweater as an accessory. So I like to drape it over my shoulders on one side and then pull the other side just looped through so that it creates this almost like scarf bow tie effect and I feel like something about this feels kind of effortless and cool and I love that this is adding a color, a stripe, a pattern to my outfit. And if I need to wear it, I can. I also love to take uh, a sweater and do the same thing but at the waist. So off to the side and then I take the one piece, kind of loop it up and it just adds more to your outfit. It's more layers, but without the commitment to an actual, you know, another skirt or whatever it is. So I always think this is a fun option as well. Another trend that was happening last season that is carrying into this season and also coming spring, and I don't think it's going anywhere soon, is the pop of red. I think a fun way to play with this is with accessories and why not a really fun red bag? I found two really fun options. This is oversized. I love it. You put it there on your shoulder. Just adds a little pop to the outfit. Even with what I'm wearing today, I think this would be the perfect accessory, giving a little fun with a pop of red. Another trend that we spotted, if you really want to dive into the world of styling, is to do two bags two bags in one, not just one bag, but two. We're going similar 
color palette of the red carrying both. If you really want to have some fun with it, you could put a scarf on the side and tie the two together so that they're cinched in and married together. But how much fun is just that pop of red? Separate them, wear them for different occasions. And this is going to be perfect going into spring. You found the dreamiest red dress carrying on the red trend. And to me, this is also screaming Sandy Lee Yang. I love the double ruffles. It's velvet. And then on the back, it's buttons down the back, which is just so sweet. I also like that it's more of a drop waist. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Continuing the pop of red, I found this amazing bolero jacket. That is gorgeous. This is a really fun way to add some red to your outfit. And you've got all of this razzle dazzle happening with it. And it could even go into the Western trend. But I think if you wear it as a little crop, how amazing is that? or what thing is happening, but how amazing is this racing jacket? Ah, which that's also been trending for a while now, but very cool. Something that I always look for is the tag because honestly, I don't want a reproduction, uh, but you can tell that this is upstream racing division. Right. That's a good find. One thing I always do is pay attention to what happens during the menswear shows as well, street style and the runways. I'm always inspired by menswear and something that happened on the Louis Vuitton fall 24 menswear was Western. Inspired my outfit today, honestly. And I am on the hunt for Western pieces. You can always find great uh, options inside the thrift store. Example, just found this gorgeous Western vest. Love the knitting on it, love the little rope uh, detail here around the buttons. And I'm gonna slip it on because you gotta put it on sometimes just to feel how good it is. Just put it on. That's what I always say is just put it on. And even over this jacket, I actually really love that because it is oversized from the men's department. I think I could wear a blazer or a denim jacket and then you add this on top. It's gonna add more personality to your look. And this honestly goes into spring maybe not summer, but again in the fall will be circled through my closet. Something we're seeing a lot of coming in the spring is nautical and I love this pea coat, which is all nautical vibes to me. I do think we still need coats in the spring and this is just such a perfect version of it. Thrifting these not, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's here. You can usually find a really great kind of pea coat style within the coat section of a thrift store. On the streets of Paris during Fashion Week, we saw a lot of trench coats. I feel like that's just a classic that should be in any wardrobe, and I think thrifting them is honestly just the great place to start. There's always a trench coat in the mix, which here, this is a little bit of a different option with this black trench coat. I love that it's double breasted. And then it's got this detail at the back, which I always love. It also feels like a rain jacket, but then you can also spot just those classic trench coats. This is honestly a perfect trench coat. This has all the 1970s feels that I love. I love this dramatic collar that it's double lined with another print. I feel very Inspector Gadget in it. It also has a hood and then it fits a little bit more tailored, which I think is really fun. I have a trench coat that is more men's and oversized, but I think having one that's really classic and cinched, and that is what we saw a lot in Paris is kind of the classic lady uh, trench coat. And really you just can't ever go wrong with a trench coat. It's timeless, trendless. And oh my gosh, looking at this on, I'm thinking I might need to get it. Something I always look for in clothing is versatility. And I love that this 70s trench has built-in buttons. So if I want, I can detach the hood and I 
think I can even detach this little extra layer. So I think giving myself options is always fun with how you end up styling it. But when it comes to trenches, I do think kind of the classic, what I think of like Burberry camel colored trench, you can't go wrong with because it will mix in well with a lot of different color palettes. Something else we saw during Paris Fashion Week on Street Style was the return of double denim. Honestly, that's probably never gone out of style, but I think a fun way to play with that is with a vest option, which this looks like someone might have taken a jacket and cut the arms off, which I always love that if there's a little DIY that happened to the piece. And I also found this in the men's department, which I really love because it does add some of that volume and the drama that I am always looking for. So paired with some of my great men's Levi denim, and then this into a button down underneath it. And even in the um, spring, like belting it up and just wearing it as a top. And I'm loving the boxy shape that's in a lot of jackets right now. And this uh, vest kind of has more of that boxy shape rather than a super tailored. I recently did a video all about how taking old cocktail dresses and turning them into tops is a great idea. You can just chop the bottom off and go with the top because usually the party is on the top. This is Tadashi. I've done this to some other Tadashi pieces. This makes me think of Scaparelli. I love the idea of adding this just as a top in my closet. How fabulous is that? And that's it for thrifting like a stylist. It was so much fun to go in there with the lens of fashion month in my brain. Just some of the styling things that we saw from the runways and the street style and then some of the trends. And I honestly feel like a thrift store is one of the most magical places to find all of these ideas. And it feels like you're getting the original maybe inspiration or you're getting something that feels unique and one of a kind and can spark all sorts of new ideas. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And finally, always play dress up. Bye. Bye.